Welcome back to the Mini Jet Shop. Today we're going to continue with our Cub build project. So in this episode, we're going to get all the major pieces of the hull tacked together. So it's the bottom, the transom, the sides, the front deck, and the wing panel. So we want to make sure all these pieces fit up nice and tight and square because this is going to set the foundation for the rest of the welds through the project. So the next order of business is putting the transom that we welded earlier onto the back of the bottom. So now to do that, you'll need uh, this gauge. Uh, we just make one every time out of some scrap. So this is 91 and a half degrees from this side to this side. We're going to weld it here in the middle of our intake base plate cutout. Uh, just like Ben's doing there. And then we'll bring the transom over and that sets the angle of the entire transom assembly. So now we're gonna make a quick Sharpie mark on the back of the bottom and that's gonna set where the transom is gonna line up with the bottom because it's gonna be inset slightly. Yeah, so we wanna be an eighth, an eighth behind the front of the slot, which allows the, the slot to come in where it needs to. The next step that we'll do is we'll grab the transom that we just finished welding up. We'll float it over here, making sure to line it up with this Sharpie line here that we just drew. Um, and then we can start kind of tacking everything together. So we're just gonna line the notch up in the transom. And you'll notice there that we're pretty on the money there with our Sharpie line. So Ben's just rounded these corners over so that they sit nicer in the little uh, pockets where the bend is on the bottom. Ben threw a tack down there just to make sure the transom wasn't going anywhere. And then he just threw some tacks on our little jig piece there. So now we know that that transom angle is exactly at the 91 and a half degrees that we need. Yeah, so next we'll work, work from the center out and just make sure everything's touching the, the bottom and on our Sharpie mark so that it's square to the, the bottom. But you'll notice as we get further and further to the edge, we've got a little bit of space between the bottom and the uh, transom panel. So Ben's just grabbed a come along and basically we're just gonna bend the bottom ever so slightly up till we hit that precision that we're looking for. All right, so we've got the transom all tacked together to the bottom. Um, and now comes the exciting part. We're gonna be flipping it over and throwing it on this table um, to throw the sides on. So the size of the table and the height uh, is kind of important. So this guy is, you know, 40, 42, 43 inches high at least. And that's gonna allow the side to hang off the bottom of the boat and be able to manipulate it with some, some space around it. So yeah, if you don't have a work surface that's this high, we recommend building one or rigging something up to get you there because it'll make your life a lot easier uh, when it comes time to doing this stuff. Coming to the front before we had that little tab here. Um, so we made a marking with the Sharpie to make sure that we know where we're gonna cut off. And there we go, just like that, we've got the point of our bottom and uh, we'll just clean it up with the flap disc now. All right, and now when we're cleaning this up, it's really important to make sure that we don't accidentally take off these little nubs. Um, those are gonna help us align the sides to the bottom of the boat. We've just brought in the sides. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is fully deburring these as well. Um, sometimes we've gotta add on the tips. Um, so we have these little uh, jigs to kind of align everything. So we'll be welding the tips on, deburring the sides, and then we're good to throw them on our bench and uh, get them molded in this way. Okay, so Ben's just deburred all the inner edges of the gunnels. So now they're nice and uh, kind of soft or, or not sharp, at least to the touch. Um, so it's gonna be great when obviously people are riding in the boat. Um, this is the easiest time to do it while they're out. Um, the next step is gonna be to weld on these tips. So as you can see, we've just got them clamped um, to a piece of backer material. Um, and the easiest way to do this is just by lining up um, those seams. They should both be square. That's how you know you've got the right side there. OK, 
Okay, so now that we've welded the uh, inside of these tabs on, Ben's now modified this backer to give a slot for that weld. Um, and then he's gonna clamp that on and then weld the outside. All right, so Ben just finished welding up the tips on the sides. So you'll notice that we cut off the tabs at the top and bottom that were there for alignment. Um, we're gonna wait to grind this weld until it's actually on the boat because it'll be a little bit more stable. Um, so that's all done. Now we're getting to the part where we get to put the sides onto the transmit bottom. So the fitment of this is a little bit tricky, uh, but Ben's just gonna walk us through what we're looking for when we're fitting everything up. So we'll pretend this is the, just our side to show the fit up here. At the, at the front, um, you want it to be corner to corner on the outside so that is, there's a minimum of grinding required. Um, because there's a chine cap that covers most of the rear section, back here where, the, where it starts to become uh, straight instead of curved at the front, we'll transition to um, an even more open corner so that it becomes corner to corner on the inside, just to make it easier for welding. And then, yeah, I guess it'll follow that all the way back. Yeah. Perfect. And so that's gonna be covered by our chine cap, so this won't be a super visible seam, but obviously important that it's still very strong. Basically, we're gonna start our way at the front, like Ben was mentioning. We'll line up the tips, get that tacked in, and we're gonna look for this marker to match the notch in the side. Uh, you'll see me kind of working the panel up and down as Ben kind of moves his way back, tacking every couple inches there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, see how that goes. So there's the first side tacked to the bottom. So you can see that's a bit of a process. A lot of it is uh, just maneuvering the side around and tacking it in place when it's right on the spot. Um, so yeah, that looked pretty good. Now uh, what's next, Ben? Uh, so next we'll do the other one to the same completion level and then uh, we'll join, join this to the transom. And then at that point, we're ready to flip it back over. Cool. Okay, so the last thing to do while the hull is upside down is gonna be to close up this gap right here. Um, as you can see, we've got a floor jack ready to kind of push this up. Yeah, uh, allow us to apply some pressure on that without it falling off the table. And uh, I guess we're just tacking with the MIG and then we'll come back and TIG, is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Once the inside is all welded, then we'll come in uh, and TIG weld this. Same as this, we MIG the inside first and then TIG the outside. So the sides are now tacked onto the transom here. Once again, we're looking for that uh, open corner to corner fit uh, on the outside. And like Ben mentioned before, we're just gonna be MIG welding on the inside. Then we'll come on the outside, clean these tacks up and uh, do more TIGs just like these guys running down that seam. So I think the next order of business is flipping this over. Yeah. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we got the boat flipped over here, starting to look more like a boat. So what's the game plan, Ben? Yeah, so um, we've got the boat chalked up on some uh, blocks of wood, and we're gonna bring this seam here together. So it, it requires a bit of uh, down pressure, so we're gonna have another block down underneath the boat so we can use our weight and push that seam closed. Sweet. Apply pressure, pull these, these two outer corners in together, 
And then we'll also have to uh, put a, a jack under here to lift lift this corner up in order to get that to fit up properly. So we want to push up right here. Just until that aligns directly. That good. Cool. Yeah. Now that's all closed up in there, easier to weld. Nice precise fit. And we'll do the same thing on this side when we come time to weld it. So we are done tacking up the sides, the upper portion of the transom here. Um, as you can see, we used the come along a little bit to kind of bring these sides a little further in. Um, see, we got tacks all through there. We got this nice tight fitment, which is what we're looking for. Uh, really easy to weld when we come back and uh, finish weld all this. Now the next step is bringing in the nose. Um, we're just gonna deburr all these edges again, just like the sides, uh, everything that the user will touch um, when we're installing these or if you're grabbing onto something. Um, for the front and the back, back the nose. make sure it's all good. And so you'll notice the nose has a lot of pre-cut features which makes it super easy for us to assemble later. Uh, we've already got our steering hole, hole for switch panel, hole for our start stop button, and then our hole for our gauge cluster uh, all cut into this. So uh, next order of business is gonna be slapping this on. So we've got the hood panel uh, or the front deck panel all um, deburred on the underside so these are nice and friendly to touch in there same thing with this uh, wing panel at the back this is all safe to touch which is great um, now we've laid the hood on top of our tack together hull um, and so using these spreader bars we've basically just had to spread uh, the gunnels apart to be the right width just so that the hood would drop in um, so you'll notice now that the hood sits slightly larger than the sides. This is normal. This is just because the hull is basically turned into a taco um, and we just have to kind of spread it apart. And same thing here, you'll notice that there's a bit of a gap, more visible from this side actually. Um, there's a bit of a gap here uh, and that's increasing. So it means that this gunnel is actually rolled inward slightly. So Ben's got a nice big uh, piece of aluminum that we're gonna lay across. And basically this will kind of give us a reference as to how rolled in yeah. the gunnels are. Um, and using some clamps, we're just gonna clamp them to make sure they're nice and square. Um, and from that, then we'll be able to tack the hood in once we know everything is all, all good. Um, and then we can kind of take these out, let them relax. And we'll likely have to do the same thing back here. Just make sure everything is all square uh, when it comes time to install that wing panel. All right, now that we've clamped that bar in place, you'll notice that we're a lot better positioned for fitment. We've got barely any gap right here, and same thing over here. Nice and tight with the fitment, so we'll tack that guy in. Um, we've propped the hood up to make sure everything is um, straight with the gunnel line for now, um, and then we'll gradually be able to bend the, uh, the nose down as we kind of bow the sides out as well, make everything fit up perfect. Um, so as you can see, we got the entire front deck completely tacked in. The, the front took quite a bit of prying in these, the, the gap and pushing and manipulating to get it to fit. The gunnels are nice and flush with the front deck as well. Uh, everything fits together really well. But yeah, most of the hull is, is tacked together, your, your kind of primary structure. Um, so as you'll notice, we've got this ratchet strap going from a clamp in this front corner all the way to the back there uh, across this beam. So the step that we're on is trying to install this wing panel here. Um, but in doing so, we noticed that there was a slight bit of twist uh, from the back gunnels relative to the dash. Now you'll see that that twist is mostly resolved. We did have 
that front corner poking up a little bit. Um, but by using uh, these clamps and this ratchet strap, we're kind of able to um, twist the hull back into the shape that we want. This is pretty normal. This is just minor inconsistencies in bending, stacking up over tacking the whole hull together. And the good thing is while the hull is just tacked together and not fully welded, we still have the flexibility to kind of uh, change this shape. Um, so yeah, what's our, uh, what's our next step here, Ben? Yeah, so uh, the next step is to tack this panel in. And while we were correcting the warp in the front, um, we also had uh, it corrected an issue with the squareness in the back here. Yeah, now is the time to kind of figure everything out because this is the last kind of piece in the puzzle that locks it all together. Yeah, keystone. Exactly. And of course, finish welding all these seams is really what's going to set it um, yeah. into place. So we'll probably leave that strap there, I guess, uh, until we start really burning some things in. Yeah. And then as we're, as we're welding, we want to check, check the square again and look at, look at the twist from the back to the front. Um, just in case we have to either loosen or tighten the strap, maintain the, uh, the squareness and the, the straightness that we had. Cool. Yeah, before this we tried strapping to a couple other locations, but that seemed to resolve maybe part of the issue and make other issues worse. So um, might take a couple of tries, I guess, to figure out where the actual twist is coming from and um, how to get rid of it. So, all right, so we are wrapping up in the shop for today. We got the wing panel tacked in. So that's uh, most of the primary structure of the boat all tacked together. Um, so we're sitting pretty good right now. We're at about 10 hours into this project, um, which we're pretty happy with. So the next step is going to be finish welding the hull. So all these seams that we've just kind of tacked together right now, we'll come along, we'll MIG those up, and then we'll come back on the outside and hit them with the grinder. After that, we've got a few more things to add on. Uh, we've got our windshield, our swim deck edges, our pump guards, and our stringers on the inside of the boat. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe to the MiniJet YouTube channel so you guys are notified about the next videos coming out. And uh, drop a comment. Let us know what you guys enjoyed the most in this video, what you're looking forward to the most in the next videos in the series. We've got a lot of really cool stuff coming. So thanks for sticking around, guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.